Investigators are counting on the plane's flight data recorder to provide more information. Okay, Let's see what it can tell us. It looks like engines three and four were producing thrust right up until here. 9, 10, 50 a.m., one hour into the flight. The FDR data reveals that both engines stopped working almost concurrently. The flight data recorder um, basically showed the engines operating as normal when they left the aircraft. To understand why two perfectly functioning engines detached from the 707's wings, investigators need to find the missing engines. Here's the flight path. This is where they probably fell off. I'll send a search and recovery team out there. Twenty-four hours into the investigation, the engines of Flight 671 are located on a mountainside near Sederon, France, 55 miles northeast of where the plane landed. Investigators found the engines about 800 meters apart. Uh, that's very close. Their locations also suggest the engines detached at almost the same time. While the team waits for the engines to be recovered, they turn to the crew for further insight. We are climbing to 33,000 feet to avoid some pretty bad turbulence. Suddenly, there were loud sounds. I saw engine four was missing. You reported the engines missing at two different times. Is it possible you were mistaken? It's possible. The harness I was wearing kept me from getting a good look out the window at first. You said you were climbing to avoid turbulence. How bad was it? It was severe. I wouldn't want to go through that again. They'd flown through extremely heavy turbulence of a level not normally encountered. So there were two cumulonimbus clouds here and here. And they went up past 33,000 feet. Investigators examined the weather conditions at the time of the incident. Looks like there was also a 90-knot jet stream over here. They discover that Flight 671 flew through two weather conditions when they reached 33,000 feet. 